Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you. And it's for Sunday, the 30th day of September, the 21st day of Tishrei. One last time that I'm going to give you a Halacha from my sukkah, but we must move ahead to the laws for uh, Shmini Atzeres and Simchas Torah. Uh, if you're in Israel, you will not be uh, at all eating in your sukkah. If you're living outside of Israel, then the way it works is uh, there are all kinds of different customs. Uh, some people say certainly you can't make the bracha of Leishev Basukkah because it is not the holiday of sukkahs. It only is treated as a possibility because we in uh, outside of Israel always keep uh, two days of Yom Tov. And so on this last day of sukkahs, there's a small doubt that at least a calendar doubt um, as to whether Shemini Atzeres is part of Sukkah. So we would sit in the Sukkah according to some, but we wouldn't make uh, the Bracha of Leishiv Sukkah, and that's according to everybody. Uh, please note that we will be saying Tfilas Geshem on Shemini Atzeres, and that means we'll be switching over to Mashiv Haruach Umarid HaGeshem. And uh, we will be doing that at Musaf, and we'll be switching over to Mashiv Ruach at uh, Musaf time for pretty much everybody. Uh, you may remember that there's a whole uh, mix-up on how to do it at Pesach time, but it has, that has to do with it being Morid Atal, which not everybody says. But at Mashiv Ruach, it's kind of simpler. Everybody switches over at Musaf time. They'll probably announce it in your shul before Shmon Esrei, and that's the announcement that everybody switches over to Mashiv Ruach. And then the Chazan will recite the tefillah for Geshem. The general rule is that if you forget to say Mashiv Haruach Umorid HaGashem, you need to repeat the Shmon Lestri. And if you don't know what you did, you probably have to assume that you forgot it, and you would also have to repeat the Shmon Lestri. To those people who were saying Morid Hatal all summer, it's a little bit easier for them because even if they forgot Mashiv Haruach, their habit probably had them say Morid Hatal, and therefore those kinds of people do not have to repeat Shimon Esrei if they don't remember what they did. It's a little bonus for the Morid Hatal people. One other halacha that I'd like to leave you with, because we're also going to be celebrating Simchas Torah. In America, we're going to be celebrating it on Tuesday. In Israel, they'll be celebrating it together as one day, Shemini Atzeres and Simchas Torah. Please remember at all times to be honorable and give kavod honor to the Torahs. We do dance with the Torahs, but we should not be flinging them around in a, uh, in a frivolous manner. They are still, even during the greatest of Simcha, they are treated with great, great honor. Please remember that as you have your your uh, Simchas Torah celebrations. There is no mitzvah whatsoever to get drunk on Simchas Torah. Some people make a l'chaim. Uh, some people have kiddush over uh, wine or alcohol so that they can eat something before the long, long hakafas. But there is no mitzvah whatsoever to get drunk at all on the beautiful holiday of Simchas Torah. I hope you have a very, very meaningful Yom Tov, Shemini Atzeres and Simchas Torah. And log on again after Yontif. We will, God willing, be giving you new laws after Shmini Atzeres and Simchas Torah. Thanks for logging on. Good Yontif. Bye-bye.